Hello, my name is Andy Johnson. I'm at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'd like to take a little bit of time and show you our new 2012 Prowler 21 SRB. We'll just start with the front here. You got the fiberglass cap up front. You got the extended hitch pin. Plenty of storage up front underneath there. You got a propane tank right here and one on the other side. You got three steps going right up in, and then you got the nice big grab handle right there coming back from the campfire with the bug light right above the door. And then you've got the big power awning. This camper also have a, has a heated and enclosed underbelly. Real nice feature to have. This has got outside speakers. Nice thing about where these speakers are located, they're down low so you don't have to turn it up as loud and bother your neighbors. Plug in and cable right here so you can put a TV out here, watch the game. Okay, now we get into the good stuff. So right on the outside, you got your refrigerator, you can have your pop in there, you got your microwave right there, sink right there, so you got hot and cold water. My family would do all their cooking right out here. Then as we come around the back, we've got the ladder obviously, spare tire right here. This is a 21 foot fifth wheel, so it's a real good coach to put a boat behind if, if you're so interested. You got 30 amp service right here, and then you got a shower right here, so you got hot and cold water to clean the kids up or get the dog cleaned up. As we keep going, we've got our cable hookups and our satellite hookups. This also has a black water flush, so there's a sprayer that goes right into your black tank to clean that for you. Right down here you'll notice are the, uh, the poles for the waste. Nice thing about them being there is they're not under the slide, so they're easy to get to. Then we've got the slide right here, 42 inches deep. Here's that second propane tank right there that I told you about. Now as we go around the front, We'll hop right inside and get to the important part. Okay, first thing I want to point out is there's tons of storage in here. These cabinets right here, all the way across, be a great pantry. Another thing I want to point out from the other side, you can get to the top row up there if you can see those doors on the other side. Real nice feature to have. Right below it you've got the couch. It's in a nice spot there. Goes down just like a futon. And as we come over here we've got the dinette. Nice thing about this dinette, you got a big awning or a big awning window right here. So this opens up and then if it rains uh, you don't get water coming in. And then there's actually a big pantry right here. If you look over here you can get to the, the back portion of it right there. And then the front portion is right here, obviously. One thing I want to point out is metal door glides, full extension drawers. Okay, and it's all set up for you to mount a TV right here. And then you've got your DVD player, CD player right there. Plenty of storage for DVDs and Blu-rays underneath it and above it. While we're up here, I want to point out that we have got ducted air. So the air conditioning is being ducted to all parts of the coach. And then you've got speakers right there. Okay, now let's do this kitchen. Plenty of storage right up above the sink. One thing I want to point out, this is kind of a Heartland thing, you've got all the numbers of all the suppliers, so if you have a problem with the Dexter axle, you can call them directly. It's a real nice feature that Heartland gives you. Okay, then we've got the sink with the high-rise faucet. you got the window right there so you can see the campfire out there. It makes washing dishes go a little faster. Little spot here for spices, and then you got more of those full extension drawers all the way down that we talked about, and more storage. And you got the microwave right here, uh, vent and fan right here, stove top with oven right here, and then you've got more storage right underneath there. Okay, now you got the fridge with the freezer in the fridge. Now let's check out this bathroom. Nice big bathroom. Nice porcelain toilet, plenty of knee room in front of that toilet, nice big glass shower enclosure, plenty of width, plenty of height. There's a lot of storage in this bathroom. That's all storage over that outside camp kitchen right there. Real nice feature to have. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go up the stairs. Don't want to miss this, this is the button for that power awning outside. Real nice feature to have. Okay, this is a nice, short, compact fifth wheel, and we still have headroom in it, so that's it's a real nice feature to have. Um, 
Nice big bed, plenty of storage up above the bed and to the side. You can hang your clothes in there. I also want to point out that there's a plug-in right here for plugging that cell phone in, plugging that alarm clock in, and then there's a shelf up top as well. And then here's that storage from, from the outside that we talked about, so you can get to that big storage there. Okay, now we'll put this bed up right here, and you got lots of nice storage underneath that bed. You can put Rubbermaids under there, put lots of stuff in there. Well, I hope this video helped you. My name is Andy Johnson. I'm at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And if you have any questions on this camper or any of our other inventory, please call me, Andy Johnson, at 218-391-ANDY. Thanks. I hope this video helped, and have a great day.